go back now to the breaking news in Southwest Burbs. You're looking at police chasing a stolen ambulance. Stolen on the Southwest side. Chris Habermill is up in Chopper 2 for us. Chris, give us a sense of how fast we're going. It's hard to tell from the shot, but what are we looking at? Well, right now we are in pursuit. Basically, we are. The authorities are more in an illuminated uh, following, if you will. Not so much a pursuit. They're just following the ambulance here, not doing any kind of uh, interdiction proceedings here. Uh, southbound on Interstate 55 near about Braidwood. So we're about uh, highway speed, about 70, 75 miles an hour here. It's not excessive. And uh, you can see that we're uh, just getting past uh, kind of the braid. We're getting into the Braidwood area. We passed Wilmington already, southbound on I-55. The saga beginning all the way back on the city southwest side. This ambulance uh, went uh, missing, and somebody jumped in it. It's apparently Ambulance 66 from the Chicago Fire Department. And it has uh, just been cruising right along southbound on Interstate 55. The state police has picked up on the chase. Local jurisdictions like Summit picked up on the chase. And they initially started with a pursuit, then they backed off. They terminated. There's no reason, you know, you, you can see it. It's bigger than a bread box. It's got the uh, reflective chevrons on the back. So just stay behind it. Make sure that the individual who's driving this thing is not going to get into any more trouble by physically moving this ambulance down the lanes. And as you can see, the ambulance is actually transiting both lanes. It's got the left wheels in the left lane, the right wheels in the right lane. Now he's coming back a little bit to the left, but he's uh, really going right down the middle of the road. He, she, I don't know exactly who jumped in here, but the end result is the same. You've got a loose Chicago Fire Department ambulance. You've got an unknown quantity at the wheel here. We don't know exactly who is behind the wheel, why their motivation was to just jump in and take this ambulance that apparently was running at the time, or they got it running somehow. And now they are uh, headed to a point south along Interstate 55. So we're down by Braidwood. The uh, pursuit continues, and I guess we could call it a pursuit because of the number of uh, police vehicles that are here, at least a dozen, maybe more, maybe up to as many as 20 are following this. Let's back out on the camera just a little bit, and let's see how many people are actually following this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So uh, about a good uh, dozen and uh, a half vehicles here that are southbound on Interstate 55. They're keeping all unconcerned individuals back, and uh, we will see where this uh, winds up. We'll stay over the top, and we will bring you all of the details as this drama unfolds. I'm Chris Haberville, CBS 2 News. Okay, Chris, I think we want to stay with you at this time. Uh, Chris, if you can hear me, you said they're going southbound at 55. Sure. Uh, we know this is going on for a few minutes now. But it appears, uh, and, and you said they're going at a pretty good clip, uh, 70 miles per hour for an AMBO is, is a pretty good clip for an ambulance, um, if they're going anywhere in that. And it, it, it seems to be everything south of this south heading ambulance has been cleared. Um, if you can view further south down 55, have police uh, cleared the roadway for a mile for several exits. Can you give us any idea of that? Well, there was no uh, blockage at the uh, Braidwood exit that we just passed a few minutes, a, a few seconds ago, actually. And uh, I'm not seeing any traffic down in front here except one semi tractor trailer that is out of the frame here, about a, oh, a half mile further down the road. So this ambulance is going to be lapping it in just a, a second here coming up on it. And that uh, driver of the semi-tractor trailer is off in the right lane where he should be. And then there's another semi about another half a mile or so in front of him. And uh, you can see that state police troopers are both in the active driving lanes and off on the shoulder. So uh, I don't see any uh, real roadblocks anywhere or any uh, entrance ramps that have been blocked. But uh, they uh, do have a lot of room for this ambulance to run. It looks like it's uh, listing a little to port here. It looks like the left side of the ambulance is lower than the right side. As it you know what, Chris, we're losing driving. your shot. We'll of Chris, if, we'll you can still, you know. if you can still hear it, we'll keep an eye on this. Uh, as we go farther south, it's going to be hard to check in from the air, but we will stay with it. We know also no one in that ambulance other than the driver. Important to note. So we will continue to watch this and bring you more updates through the newscast. Okay, our thanks to Chris.